Good morning, everybody. We're going to be documenting my refeed day today. Very exciting. I had a record low of 164.6 pounds today. And I'm looking crazy lean. Thank God we got this refeed day. And yeah, I almost have 100 subscribers. Thank you guys. That's crazy. I'm so happy. Like, it's so cool to see that. And the support on the videos has been great. And uh, someone actually recommended that they wanted to see a refeed video. So thank you to that guy. This is for you. And keep commenting what you want to see. I love pumping out like content you guys ask for. So at this point, I don't even know if I got to sit, but I'm going to make my drink, hop on the bike, do some posing for my coach, but I'm not going to show you that because I'm definitely practicing posing later. It's getting to crunch time and I like fine tuned my posing. I think you guys will like it. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments, but yeah, I'll show you guys that once I get a couple meals in me and I'm a little fuller, so I'm not just flat, sad, Ryan. Last thing to update you guys on before I get to the food is I'm actually counting my water now. So I'm on six liters a day because we're priming my body to pretty much shed water, like all the water I'm retaining right before the show. And then we fill me out and the water will retain in the muscle a little bit more, not be under the skin and just we're going for crazy conditioning because I got a pretty full physique, so I think as, as long as you bring the conditioning, like we're bringing, by the way, prep brain's gotten a lot worse too, like astronomically worse. I'm really feeling it, um, but yeah, we got this. Honestly, like, I'm, I'm feeling confident, which is good, because you need to have that on stage. But genuinely, I, I think we got this. This is the money shot right here. Oh, I almost missed it. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God. Pro tip, use a spoon you're about to eat with for your tablespoon measure. Because in that first bite, it's like, well, you get it. It's literally coated in honey. <laughs> So what this actually is, is two scoops of whey protein powder, uh, a cup of oatmeal, or like oats, and a tablespoon of honey. It is amazing. The key is, turn the water in the tap to hot, and use that instead of microwaving it, because microwaving it can mess it up. The last time I had this, I tried to heat it up, and it messed it up bad. And it was so sad because this is the best tasting thing I've had in like 20 weeks, man. Like, or not 20 weeks. It's a bit of a hyperbole, but you know, a long time. And so messing it up was extremely sad. I gotta add a little more water to this. So I'm gonna make this perfect and then I'll be back. So this is what it should look like. It's like a, a pudding. And I got chocolate peanut butter protein powder. So it literally tastes like Reese's Pieces cereal. I've never had Reese's Pieces cereal, but I assume that's what it tastes like. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this and not talk during it, and then I'll get back to you guys after. So I've talked about in one of my TikTok videos how my refeed day starts my cravings up again and makes them like really bad. That is why. Starting the morning with all those carbs and with that honey, the flavor of the chocolate peanut butter protein powder. Oh my God, that's like, amazing like if you like sweet cereal but you're like not reaching your protein intake for the day grab some oats and throw some protein powder on it i'm thinking after prep cinnamon toast crunch and cookies and cream whey also if you guys could comment below a good like show or something nothing too uh see this is why nothing too like intricate or like like kind of like a light watch you know what i mean because yeah my brain's pretty much turned to crap and 
I don't feel good a lot of the time, and I think I'm due for a distraction. I, I like to be high-functioning at the start and always doing something, but now I, I really think it's just time for me to get through to the show because it's getting really hard. <laughs> so, we'll, uh, yeah, if you guys could comment something below that'll help me kill time, I definitely appreciate it. Like, nothing like video games or anything. Like, I can't focus like that anymore, you know? Uh... So yeah, I'm looking for a good show, maybe a good movies. Any recommendations you guys have that your boy know? So I'm trying to kill some time, like I've been talking about. And I'm watching the Explain series on Netflix. And I watched this thing on dieting. And what they showed me blew my mind. They literally cracked the secret to fat loss. Like they talk about scientifically how to actually do it. Comparing all the fad diets and everything. Watch this, watch this. Physiology doesn't like being fought. But diets can work. You just have to eat fewer calories and sustain it. Fewer calories. So I realized I was looking like a freaking hobo. And with my hair and everything, got that all showered up, shaved, so I look a little more proper. Because really that stuff just slips your mind. Like I'm so focused on just get my meals and when's my next meal coming? Did I take my supplements? What do I got to do for this? What do I got to meal prep that you literally just forget? Like it just slips my mind half the time to do like just normal day-to-day -day things. But it is time for meal two. So I'm about to show you guys that right now. So here is meal number two. Looks pretty good, right? So I pull my chicken, which is five ounces of chicken, um, a cup of rice and a cup of, well actually a little less than a cup because of the way the corn comes in the can. Um, a little less than a cup of corn and then you got to be careful when buying your corn because corn has sugar in it like added sugar and I bought a bunch of them and now I can't use them so if the family ever wants corn I hooked them up but yeah we just throw some pink salt on this this is honestly really good like the corn's kind of sweet and uh, yeah I'm really excited to get this in me because like I said this morning that first meal does not fill me but yeah, I'm gonna wolf this down. So I just threw some chicken in the oven for my next two meals because my third meal is pretty light, you guys will see it, and then I train. And after that, I'm not trying to wait and cook. I'm gonna be super hungry, so I'm getting that ready for when I'm done that. And for now, to kill this time, I'm gonna pose because refeed day. Got a little extra energy, a little carved up, and I wanna show you guys my new routine so we are here in front of the big mirror in the family room and I'm about to show you guys my new posing routine. Let me know what you think. And it'll be a bit of a physique update as well because you guys haven't seen me yet. We're 3.3 weeks out. I don't think I've mentioned that yet. So it's coming down to the wire. That's like 23 days or something like that. So let's go. So I was sitting here watching posing and I realized my back shot can definitely be improved. So watch what I learned. You guys can see the difference. I Okay, remember to edit a side by side right. Watch this. how much better that first one looks like way better so I got to get that into my thick skull now because it's, it's been such a routine to raise my arms like that so I got to keep them down and uh, yeah should should look a lot better so I just did some posing conditioning um, after I fine-tuned everything you got to get it into that muscle memory so when you get on stage you don't got to think about nothing you know <laughs> And I'm, I'm trying to do that like stage conditioning where I pose along with uh, different competitions 
almost every day now. Like I'm trying to do everything I can to win. I want to do everything that no one else is doing. Give myself the best chance because I've worked so hard for this and I am not ready to let any little thing get in my way. Like I'm doing whatever it takes. And if you guys have any tips about little things you did to help get you ready for a show, please let me know because I want everything. I want to bring an insane package to Ottawa so we can pick up this win. But now I'll talk about my meal. So, I just finished all that. We got some salt on peanut butter, on rice cakes, and a banana. Not much else to it, man. This is a smaller meal. Uh, it doesn't fill me whatsoever, but it does taste good. You know, who doesn't like peanut butter and banana? So I'm gonna enjoy this, hit some uh, chest and back with Gavin once he comes, and I'll get back to you guys after my workout. So I always talk about activating the muscle before I hit it, so I'll show you what I mean. What I do for chest is I get a great contraction on the fly like most people do. So before we start our actual like, major compounds, like these are not working sets, I just get blood into the muscle. So like not to like failure or anything, really just till I feel blood in the muscle. And then I just pair it with these front raises because I get a great pump in my upper chest, which is what we're targeting with the first movement. And it warms up my front delts, so preventing injuries. And yeah, I just get a nasty pump before. And that's how you like bodybuild. You literally sculpt your body. If you want to work your lats, you just activate your lats before you do the movement. So your body's going to use whatever muscle has blood in it to do the movement to prevent injury. Because when things are cold, that's when you get hurt. And that's when you pull things. So just make sure you're properly warmed up before you hit your workout. Woken up, hit morning cardio, fasted, 888, hit my chest and back workout, hit abs, hit my second round of cardio. And now we get this. So it's a cup of brown pasta, five ounces of chicken, and a tablespoon of olive oil. This is a really good meal. Like, it tastes great, especially with some salt. Like, you guys know I love my pink salt. Uh, water limitation. It's kind of getting annoying because I drank a decent amount before my, what am I at, eight? So I drank four liters so far today and I'm only allowed six. So that mean, leaves me two liters for the end of the night, which I just have to be cautious of. Like, it's not that bad. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely starving after all that. I got to eat this. So I'm going to go enjoy this. I'll catch up with you guys at my next meal. Fresh from the microwave, it is meal number five. And it's the pulled chicken, cup of corn, and brown rice again. I'm not complaining. It's a fantastic meal. Very filling and gets me full. So I'm going to be full for tomorrow too, which is super nice. With these up refeeds, because I'm like pretty much on point. I mean, my workouts have been so much better. It's, it's only, I've only done it twice, but it makes a huge difference. For those of you who like don't understand prep and stuff like that, like these days are, I don't know how to put it, but they make everything better. They, they make your whole life better, better energy, better workouts. And that's all that matters right now, better sleep. So yeah. Hey guys, so I'm just gonna close out the video now. I do have one more meal left. It is um, one cup of oatmeal and two scoops of protein powder, but as you can tell, my energy is just gone. It's been a crazy long day. I got a lot of editing to do tomorrow because I realized with like where my head's at, there's a lot of spew. I am an absolute spew. And I apologize, but for the next few videos, I won't be all there, to be honest with you. Like, 
it's you're gonna see the deterioration of Ryan Shannon. It's I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks again to whoever I can't remember the name. I'm sorry I could check, but whoever recommended that I do this refeed vlog, uh, I appreciate a lot for the recommendation. If you guys run and recommend anything else, that would be fantastic. Let's just bring home gold, man. I'm just going to bring you guys gold. I can't bring you guys good content from here on out, so I'm going to bring you gold. All right? Sound good? I'm signing off. Peace, guys.